court bailiff had already removed the property from the offices before the councillors who had been tipped off arrived at the district headquarters. You know you people, there's nothing like knowing here what we are demanding you to go away. Where's the left of That's for, for, for picking? The councillors disagreed with the bailiffs who had taken out computers and furniture without providing a warrant of attachment from the High Court of Gulu. If the bailiff had come to the district to say we have secured order of execution, we are going to attach, these are the items. The district would not stop them. If they had come with the proposals, it would be fine. But there were no proposals. That's why the warrant was issued and we went ahead to attach these properties. The woman councillor for Peche and Laro Division, Francesca Amon, and other councillors nearly exchanged blows with one of the bailiffs who had allegedly insulted them. Some computers were taken from the accounts department. The head of accounts, Nero Pasca, said it would be difficult to recover some of the data that was lost. documents which have been scattered around. And any time anybody can come for information, which I don't think uh, immediately we may be able to produce some of the documents. In 2001, 89 sub-county and parish chiefs were terminated from their duties without pay, and they sued the local government for 4 billion shillings. In January 2011, the same court had decreed that the local government pay 4.2 billion shillings to the plaintiff, which it failed to do. The High Court Assistant Registrar on December 15, 2016, gave warrants of attachment for 23 graders, 20 vehicles, motorcycles and an assortment of office equipment, estimated at 2.5 billion shillings. The drama between the councillors and bailiffs attracted the attention of the district chief administrative officer, Dorothy Ajuang, and the resident district commissioner, Captain Santo Lapolo. This facility is serving more than five, half a million people, and half a million people are going to be rendered redundant in terms of service delivery. The best way out, I have said and will continue to say, is for the local government to dialogue with the debtors. Meanwhile, the bailiff of Von Quirino insists they will advertise the attached vehicles. And whatever had been attached for sale, if they delay to bring us down on the table. The district has five cases involving civil servants who were fired 10 years ago.